So Tony, what is your opinion on the talent retention and development? For many years, I work really hard. If we want to work or we want to keep, we want to get to work together with the the talent people. So the first thing that is is that we are also to be the talent people because in Vietnam, you know, if you want to to go with the wind, if you want to be the star on the cloud, you also have to be the top of the cloud, and then you can stand the level with them. So I think work with the talent people. At least the first thing very important is that we are also have to become a talent people. Do the same thing mindset, and then we have many things to work. With. That is the first thing, mm-hmm. and the second is uh, we have to care if we really understand about them. Like in Vietnam, we also like you never can compare the mm-hmm. fish with the monkey because the the fish is put inside the water, but yeah. it can can swim very fast. But the monkey, how can compare? But if you compare, like you bring the the fish go to climb the tree, so how and how the fish can compare with the monkey, right? Yeah. So the second thing is uh, mm. you have to really listen, be careful, and understand the talent people mm. because you know the talent people it means it's not they understand and they clever or they smart with everything in life. For example, for me. If you're talking about gym, about like freaking, you know, about some kind of sports, so I know. But if you're talking about like history or the finance or something like that, how can I know? We are have to really listen, be careful, and really understand about them. So uh, how about their emotional? Because you know the emotional also very important, right? The people always different with the people really negative. Oh, okay. the second. Uh, listen, be careful and understand about them. And the third thing I think is uh, we have to really, really care like how to training for them to bring them to the next level. Like a lot of uh, some of my friends, okay, when they see me training my staff, I train them like I give them everything I have because I want them to be like clever more than me. For example. When you're clever more than me, you know your life more successful. You can earn more money. You can bring your happy go to all the people around to you, and then happiness it come back to you, right? When we keep everything, some of people, you know, of my staff are asking me one. I can train them ten, because inside my mind, you know, you have to be clever more than me. I hope one day you can be famous more than me or something like that, you know. So mm-hmm. I think the first thing is that uh, we really care how to bring our staff. Or how to train for the talent people to bring them to the next level. And the last thing is, uh, of course, is a salary because uh, everyone we we also work because of the salary, right? But you know, you give them very a little bit money. They're not enough the money to buy the gasoline, not enough money to buy the phone, not enough money to take care of their kids, their children, their family, and how they can stay with us. So for me, I think is. Uh, Of course, if we want to work or to keep the talent people, many, many, many things together. But something I think, for my opinion, is uh, very important.